Welcome back to a somber post-Euro 2024 Silesia. Well, this is how the rest of the tournament shook out. I will be making a summary video, but the full Twitch VOD of the playing the three games is in the previous video. Uh, we were unfortunate not to make it out of the group, but we were close. Basically a one-on-one -on -one with Christoph Piatek versus Kasper Schmeichel away from getting out of the group. We would have finished third in that place, which is where Norway technically finished. And so we would have played France. So that would have been tough because, as you can see, they won the competition. But we can go through the results of the knockouts. Denmark did finish second in our group. Um, so they got a pretty good draw um, playing Sweden, battle the Scandinavians, lost an extra time. Then Northern Ireland, who was in our qualification group and finished like fourth, I think, but made it through in the playoffs, got through Ukraine on penalties. And then, you know, had a chance to beat uh, Sweden to make it to the semifinals. So Sweden had a good run. And France got through, obviously, Norway. And then beat Germany on pens. Germany beat Austria on pens. Then lost on pens to France. So the hosts go out. Pretty good performance from them, though. Portugal beats Scotland. Bel Belgium beats Netherlands in the Battle of the Swamp. And then Portugal went on. And then the surprise run was Poland, who got through Italy, then Croatia, and then got spanked by Portugal, six to nothing in the semifinal. But good to see Poland doing well, especially since, you know, we took a whole boatload of their players and clubs and stuff like that to form Silesia. So good to see that we didn't harm them too much. Um, France ends up winning the whole thing over Portugal, two nothing. But yeah, it hasn't been a strong 2024 for Silesia. After the high of qualifying, we've struggled a bit. We've played some pretty tough teams, though. None of these are a given. Three draws are tough, though, but that last Denmark game. We were up 2-1. to one. We had a chance to go up 3-2. to two. Any winning result would have saw us through, but it is what it is. We go on to the Nations League next, where we play Wales, Slovenia, and our rival Czechia. But that's the national team. It's been the summer transfer window, though. We're back to club football today. We're in the Premier League this season. Our first go. We'll take you through the transfers. It's been pretty busy. Nothing pretty serious going out, except for, obviously, Mikuaj Wojniak, our winger, who left on a free because he wanted to play in a better division. So he ended up signing for a team that got relegated and went down to the second division. Trobri. Who's tipped to come back up? But that's hilarious. We might try and sign this guy, though, if we can, to get him back in our team. But on the ends, let's see. We can just start from the top. There's a boatload, mostly just getting people on freeze and loans. Spent money on one player, but uh, Rakowski is a backup left option, uh, left back option. He's okay. Left back is a weak spot for us, though. Uh, Budzinski is the backup goalkeeper. 32. He's all right. Roblevsky is a left winger attempt to fill the gap left by Warzyniak. Not that good, though. Struggling with injuries. Uh, Magstiak was the center back we did bring in. On a permanent, but we've been looking to improve our center back, so I'm trying to loan him out. Zalewski is another center back. When I was desperate for center back depth, he's already out on loan. Wodarczyk is another winger option we're trying to fill in. He's struggling with injuries too, though. Uh, let's see, Sirochki. Konrad Sirochki is a okay center midfielder. But we've got better options too, though, so he's probably periphery depth option. Matias Figueroa is on our highest wage. 
We ended up getting a bunch of scouting information on Chilean players, and we just brought a boatload of them in on trial. And this was the first one where I was like, oh, a good center back? Awesome. So he's a starting center back, 28, but he's on pretty high wages, 83K. Yes, my wages are set to dollars. Uh, he looks okay. He's going to start. And then we got an agent offer for an Australian Italian second nationality player from this academy in Australia. And he looks like he might have some potential. He's uh, out and out number 10, but we're training him as a center midfielder because we don't play with a number 10. Maybe we'll switch to that at some point, but we have four pretty decent striker options. So, but he looks all right. I think he can play the Mazzola position okay. He's not very good defensively. Tackling seven, positioning seven. Anticipation is good though. Passing isn't too good and physicals are a little bit down, but I'm pretty excited about old uh, Ricardo Musella. We picked up Crispin Szczesniak on actual money from Gornick. Center back option, gonna be a starter. He's our second best center back. A few other teams were looking at coming in on this guy, so we decided to splash the money out, give a decent salary to him. I really wanted to improve our center backs because that's pretty important. And then we got a couple of strikers in on loan that honestly look like the better two options, but they're kind of struggling with injuries in the buildup to the beginning of the season. This guy, um, he is Bosnian, Bosnia-Herzegovina, German second nationality, 20 years old, must play advance forward as part of the loan agreement, but basically paying no money for him. He has not much pace for an advance forward, which is annoying, but he can finish, and he looks pretty decent. So Alem Yapauer, pretty excited about him. And then Marcin Barton, the sleepy-eyed assassin. He does fill that under-21 Silesian player slot on loan from Viswa Krakow. He looks pretty good, finishing it great, and he's not very fast either. Part of the agreement, he has to play deep lying forward. So we've changed up our tactic a little bit to fill those two roles so we can easily slot these two guys in. And then to bolster up the midfield, um, another guy who played in Chile, but is actually Nigerian, Augustine Eziali, um, looks kind of decent for our level. I think he's a bit more of a ball winning midfield type player. We do have him set as playing deep lying playmaker with nine passing and eight vision might not be the smartest idea, but he's kind of just the more pulled back between the Mazzola and the deep lying playmaker of the midfield tactic. He's not going to start right now because we do have the strong partnership between our last two uh, center midfield kind of boys from last season, Roble, who is, he's okay. I think his attribute analysis makes him look worse than he actually is, and he had a pretty good year for us, so he's going to get the start. Trachik is, probably needs to prove his worth, or else he's going to get surpassed by either Mishtal, who's on loan and fills the under-21 spot, or the, the new Musella guy. So that's that situation. The winger situation is a little weak with Nidzviejki. But he does play the under-21 spot. He's the only one under-21 in the starters starting 11 right now. And then Musialik is going to play over here. He is right-footed, but we're going to play him as the winger spot. And I'm looking to splash some cash on a winger. The, the remainder, if we look at the finances... The remainder of my payroll is probably going to go to one player who I'm looking at right now. I'll show you who he is. But he's asking for a lot of money. He's 31. There's some other players that are can potentially fill the spot too. I'm looking at this guy. He's 24. But this guy, Mirjad Mahanovic, who looks like he would be a pretty good little option here to play in the left wing. He's got a couple holes in his game, but but he wants basically 100K. 
So that's annoying. And that's pretty much the summer transfer window. Friendlies have gone pretty well. We're in the Premier League this season. My goal, despite being picked 15th, we were 16th at 900 to 1 odds before we made some transfers. But my goal is to push for European football this year. So we need a, a good run, but there is four spots for it. Some other teams have played started the season off already. But hey, if we keep the dynamics, you know, in the green, everybody likes me. I'm working on another coaching badge. Atmosphere is good. Cohesion is good, despite how many random players we brought in. We get on a roll here. Maybe we can make something happen. Oh, one last thing we want to take a look at is just how the Silesian clubs have been kicking on in Europe because it's been pretty good. Bonico Strava, the champions, the flag bearer, they beat Flora Tallinn from Estonia, 3-0 home, 3-0 away. Next round, they got through Puskas Akademia from Hungary, 2-0 loss away, turned it around in the second leg, 3-0 at home. They're on to play Apollon Limassol, who's from, yep, Cyprus. So they should probably be able to get through that, and then they would be on to the playoff, which would mean they would be at least in the Europa League. So good stuff from Bonico Strava. Schlosk Wrocław, who played horribly in Europe last year, is doing a lot better. They beat KI from the Faroe Islands easily, and then Arsenal Tivat from Montenegro. They beat them. They're on to Austria Klagenfurt. They'll probably go out here. Who knows? They might be able to handle that round. Get on to the fourth qualifying round for the Conference League. So good so far from Schlosk and Rukhortsov, who beat us in the final of the cup last year. They have been knocked out by Haduk Split. They did get a uh, home draw, though, so that helps. But they beat what, Kana's Key, is that how you say that? From Wales. So, if we look at club coefficients, we are up to 42nd already. 3.167 points this year. Looks like if Bonico Strava keeps pulling some points in, we'll do better than last year. And that's going to move us up to... Where does that put us? Right here, which is technically, that's wrong. Let's see, there we are. Where are we at? I lost us here. Not doing too good right now. Boom, 21st? No, that can't be, tr that can't be right. We would move up to 21st? No way we would move up to... Oh, this is reversed. How did that happen? Game's messing with me. That we would move into... Dude, what? Dude. 35th? Is that right? Wow, terrible. Okay, yeah, that would move us into 35th. Yikes. Okay, so that would get us a uh, second round, second qualifying round conference league team as of right now. The big boost, obviously, is when you start getting Europa League teams. So 33rd is, you know, if we could move up into that spot, that'd be great. So that's the European football for the Celestine clubs. Today we're just playing the one game. We get Zagwebia Lubin, who is one of the favorites. They are the second best team in the league. They have the tipped to be the best young player in the league this year, Tomas Pienko, Silesian International. But let's jump into the game. I've spent enough time talking about preseason. This is going to be a long episode if we don't just play this one game. So, team's pretty well ready to go. Um, Let's see. Yeah, Yapauer isn't fit fully. A couple other guys are injured. Vanda's suspended. 
We're weak on the wings. I'm a little bit concerned about that. And then left back. But other than that, I think we're ready to kind of make a push here. But this is the starting 11. Nowak is holding on to the number one spot. If he starts playing bad, though, Budzinski can come in. But I'm eager to see what we can do. The Nigerian gets the number 22. Everybody's happy about what we're trying to accomplish here. Let's see how we go against Sagwebi Lubin. Last time we played them, we beat them in the cup. 2-0 at home. We're at home again. Yeah, 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 yeah. None of that stuff matters. Let's see what we can do. Playing Pianko in the middle of the field again. And they're wearing their hideous green kits. We're in the yellow reds. Let's see how we go. We can just go key highlights since it's a cup game or since it's a club game. Putting the early pressure on here. I like to see it. Yeah, it's been an okay off-season. Some lingering depression from the Euro results. God, we were pretty close, though. We did all right. It was a tough draw, so it was always going to be difficult for us. There's not a lot going on in this game. They haven't created anything. We've created a little bit. Worked the ball in the box. Yeah, for the last five minutes. I don't mind that. All right, no highlights. Well, maybe it won't be a super long episode. Uh, yeah, proud of your efforts, not too bad. I mean, they're pegged to finish second, so. Any changes? Sure. All right, let's see what we can do. Who's playing good? Arash is on a 6.5. They're on an attacking corner, near post, and it falls to Darfalu, who either chests or heads it in. But we're down one nothing now. Couldn't defend the corner very well. Who's this? Haresh is back post. Well, he, he elbowed Haresh in the head. Haresh is going like this, and he walks by and scores the goal. Ref. Can't elbow my guy like that? Come on. Dude. Am I the only one that saw that? That is not okay. All right, Rush. Uh, yep, Bartone is the deep lying forward player. Let's see, Alec isn't playing good. Try and push you inverted a little bit. I want to see what Ezzy Ali can do. Trachik is not playing good. I mean, I don't think we're going to win this game. I just want to see. I just want to get the new boys some games. Figueroa's playing a 6.3. I mean, all right, let's, let's not go crazy here. Make an impact. That might be the only highlight we get, so it's all right. Regularly scheduled programming. Come on, boys, let's push for this. Let's do something. We got 10 minutes left. We haven't created a single highlight. I want a Fonzo in. Can bring in the other left back. Push you up. We shouldn't worry. We shouldn't be countering, to be honest. We don't have enough pace. <sighs> All right. I need to get a win under my belt because I'm sick of losing after all those losses with Silesia. 
And now the club being picked to finish 16th or 15th in the league. Here we go. Work it. Pass here. Pass here. Goal. Come on, Musella. Why are you wasting time? We're down one nothing. Takes it on his own. It's over. I don't know if he's good at free kicks. Can we do anything here? No, we cannot. It's a 1-0 defeat to open the season. We only had one shot on target. Uh, I don't really like what I saw because we didn't create a single thing and we're at home. But they are picked to finish second, so tough. A couple trials finishing. Couple things going on, bringing more people on trial, but not a great start. It's been a rough couple months in Silesia, at least for me. But we've got, let's see, Opava, Bonico Strava. We'll probably come back for Rekordsaw, try and get revenge against the team that beat us in the cup final. Hopefully we can pick up a win here. Well, yeah, we'll probably come back for this game and then the cup. Because that should be a win, because this is probably going to be against some rando third division, fourth division side or whatever. But yeah, we're back. We're rocking and rolling. It's season two in Silesia. Thanks for those that have been watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Say hi. Get involved. Become Silesian. Put in the paperwork for your green card and join Silesia today. I want you. All right, that's enough of that. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time.